<clears throat> okay, I'm checking my screen. My camera is acting strangely right now. Um, the color is changing. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, hello everyone. It's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before we do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. Thank you, Lolly. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, thank you, Fabricio. Hello, hello, Katie. Hello. Nice to see everyone here. Helga, hello. Seiru's here. All right, Seiru. Thank you, Seiru. All right. Um, Air Lady. Hello, Air Lady. Okay, good, good, good. Let me get some water. Um, I have a little cough here. Radu. Hello, Radu. Candy. Hello. Rajay. Hello. Okay, I'm very happy to see everyone. And thank you always for being here with me. Like I say, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you all. Now, we always have a toast for good luck. So let's do that. Let's have our toast for good luck. Yes. Yeah? So please pick up a beverage. If it's a water, if it's a milk, <clears throat> if it's coffee, if it's whatever you're drinking, pick it up for our toast. Yes. And we always have a toast for good luck. So our, we will have two toasts. Yes. Two toasts. Our first toast will be for the green team. Yes. The supporters. They support me. They support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. So we have to give them a big thank you. All right, green team. Thank you. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Yes. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Ah, okay. And for our second toast, it's for you. Yes. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. That's right. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and informative lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Ah. Okay. Oh, Umesh is here. All right, Umesh, the green team is in the house. Sylvia, hello, Sylvia. All right, all right. Well, um, Pineapple juice. Helga is drinking pineapple juice. Well, that's a little unusual. I mean, I like pineapple juice, but it's something that I don't drink very often, and I don't see people drinking pineapple juice very often, but it is delicious. I do like pineapples, and I like pineapple pizza, Radu. Yes, I do. I like pineapple pizza. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Well, um, today we are doing a worksheet. Yes, we are. And here is the worksheet. And today we are going to talk about each other. Yes, we're going to learn about each other. So that's very exciting. And we, or you, <laughs> we are going to do the worksheet, but you can download this worksheet. Um, I have the um, I have the link pinned to the chat, so perhaps at the top of the chat you can see the link where you can get the worksheet. Actually, the worksheet is on my com is on my YouTube homepage, and it's in the community section. And what you do, it's a JPEG. So all you have to do is click on the JPEG. It's a picture, and just drag it over to your desktop and there you can download it or I mean you could print it out it's on it will be once you drag it from my home page to your desktop that you could do what you want with it all right um, also I'm going to show you the it's gonna appear right here I'm gonna show you the sheet right here so it, it doesn't matter. You can, um, there's going to be three options. You can um, 
go to the link and get it on your desktop. You can look at it on right here soon, or we, I'll hold it up and so you can see it on the camera. So there's um, three ways you can have a look at it. And I will be writing some of the questions on the board. So don't worry, um, we could all do it together. Yes, <laughs> Lolly says, pineapple pizza, no way. Pineapple pizza, no way. It's good, you should try it. <laughs> You should try. Hey, Ava's here. Hello, Ava. Good to see Ava. All right. So um, our green team, they're great. They're great supporters. Mm. If, if you want to um, help me and support the channel, and if you want your name to be green, please join the channel. That'd be fantastic. Also, um, I want to say, I never say this, but I want to say it now. If you're not subscribed, please become a subscriber subscriber, yeah, and hit the like button, all that jazz. Okay, thanks everyone. Okay, so now let's have a look at the sheet, the worksheet. Let's do it together. So it should appear. Let's see. Oh, right, see the, okay, hold on a second. And boom, whoa, magic. There is the worksheet. I think I can move it around, can't I? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm moving it. Woohoo! Modern technology. Okay, there is the worksheet. We're gonna do this today. Hold on, I can. Let's do it. Okay, so here is right here at the top is some patterns. Okay, so. What we're going to do is learn about one another. Here are four patterns, okay? And these are question, question patterns. So we have, um, are you? And for example, are you an only child? Are you on a diet? And then you can say the answer here, the reply. Yes, I am. No, I'm not, right? So one more time. Are you an only child? For example, for me, no, I'm not. I have, I have one sister and two brothers. Are you on a diet? No, I'm not. <laughs> However, I do, um, a couple times a year I go on a diet, yeah? But right now, at this moment, I am not on a diet, okay? And then our next question pattern, do you? And do you like pineapples? <laughs> I, should, I should have put, do you like pineapple pizza? Oh, I should have done that, but I just put pineapples. So maybe like Helga was drinking pineapple juice. So do you like pineapple juice? Do you like pineapple pizza? Do you like pineapples? Oh, do you like pineapple upside down cake? <laughs> do you like Pineapple, um, how about pineapple, what else can we make with pineapples? How about, can we make a pineapple casserole? Maybe we can. Do you like pineapple casserole? Oh, do you like pineapple in your potato salad? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry, I got this. Bronchitis, it seems like bronchitis because it's in my chest. I got this little thing in my chest, so I have to like expand it sometimes to get it out. <laughs> okay, um, do you have a pet, right? Yes, I do, I have a cat. Do you have a pet? And then yes, I do, no, I don't. As a reply, we have, can you? Can you play tennis? Yes, I can. Can you ski? Yes, I can. Um, or no, I can't. Then we have, were you? This is a past, right? This is a question about the past. Were you born in the summer? No, I wasn't. Uh, were you at home yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay, so we have question 
patterns and then replies, right? So are you? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Do you? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Can you? Yes, I can. No, I can't. <clears throat> Were you? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay, so this is our, these are the patterns. And here are the questions. We got some questions. Plus, of course, any question you want to do is fine. Yeah, any question you want to do is fine. Okay, so I actually, I'm going to write these patterns on the board because maybe for some people, they can't download the worksheet or it's difficult for them to see it right, right there. Maybe they're on their, their phone and so it's too small. So anyways, I will write, <laughs> I will write the patterns on the board right now. I'll do it right now. And so it's right here. So I'll start right here and go over. So are you, so let's take, let's call this number one pattern. Are you, yeah. <clears throat> And let's say number two pattern, do you? The third pattern, can you? And our fourth pattern, and this is talking about the past, right? This is talking about your past, were you? <clears throat> okay, and then, and then we have, and then the replies, right? So, are you, yes, whoops, whoops. So, it would be, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Do you? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Can you? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Were you? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay, so that's the pattern, and you could see that it's on the top of the worksheet. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry about, I have some, some um, like bronchitis or something in my chest, and the hardest part is not coughing, right? So I can't cough because here's a microphone right here. <laughs> so I can't cough. So that's the hard part is I want to cough, but I can't cough because I have a mic right here <laughs> on my chest. So I don't want to do that because you don't want to hear me cough. So that's the hard part. Oh, Fabricio says, what's upside down cake? Oh, well, you guys know, some people know, it's upside down cake, there's pineapple, on the bottom of the cake or no no you cook it on the bottom so you make the cake and you place pineapple at the bottom of the cake and so the pan let's say the pan so you're gonna bake a cake you place pineapple at the <laughs> at the bottom of the pan then you put in the cake batter right you cook it in the oven and then you you turn it over and you take off the bowl or the pan and the pineapple is now on the top of the cake and so it's called pineapple upside down cake because when you bake the cake the pineapple is on the bottom and then you turn it upside down to serve the cake so it's called an upside down cake Oh, thank you, Air Lady, but I'm, I don't want to cough. Thank you, thank you, Air Lady, but that's not good to do. <laughs> but I, I'm okay, I'm okay, thank you. I'm okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> oh, Ava says, I have never eaten pineapple pizza. Oh, really? Ava, you should try it sometime. Next time, try it. Lolly say, Lolly says, don't order pineapple pizza in Italy. Oh, I can imagine, Lolly, um, because in Italy, that's where pineapple comes, or <laughs> pineapple, that's where pizza comes from, and that would probably, probably be a big no-no in Italy. So I can imagine um, if you ordered pineapple for your pizza, or if you ordered pineapple on your pizza, the, the traditional pizza chef would be angry. No, we do not put pineapple on pizza. No, no, no. So yeah, okay, that's good advice. So Lolly has advice. If you are, if you are in Italy, don't order pineapple on your pizza. Okay, thank you for your advice. <clears throat> okay, well, let's get going, shall we? It's hard to, that's right, Air Lady says you cannot hold a cough. It is very, it is very difficult to hold a cough. That's right, Air Lady. It's very hard, but I will do my best. I'm going to do my best to hold a cough. So I have, I have water here and I have coffee here. So these will help me hold the cough. That will help me. And I, if I go like this, my chest, bring it out, and that helps. So if I do chest exercises, that helps my coughing <laughs> expand, right? Yeah, that helps. Okay, good, good. Uh, Melina says, the pizza with pineapple and corn is Hawaiian. Yes, not corn. No, no, no. Here, here in Japan... They put corn on pizza, but no, no, no. I do not like corn on pizza, but I like pineapple. And you are correct, Melina. It is called pine, or it is called Hawaiian pizza. And actually, I think it's with ham. So ham and pineapple is Hawaiian pizza. But I like just um, I like just cheese and pineapple. So if I have pineapple pizza, I just only want, well, green peppers would be good. So green peppers and pineapple is good. Okay, let's do it. Radu says corn on pizza is okay. Pineapple on pizza is a crime against humanity. <laughs> no corn. I, I say, Radu, I say the opposite, Radu. I say... Corn on pizza is a crime against humanity, and pizza is okay. <laughs> pizza is fine on pineapple, or um, pineapple is fine on pizza. It's not my first choice. It's not my first choice, but I like it. Um, my first choice on pizza would be pine, or would be pepperoni and green peppers. Right, so green pepper and pepperoni. Pizza is my favorite. And then number two for me would be anchovies. So anchovy pizza is number two for me. Pineapple is kind of down the list, but I don't mind pineapple on my pizza. Fabricio, um, in this pizza, there is coconut, pineapple, and bacon with cinnamon. <laughs> Wow, that, that's, a, um, that's a new kind of pizza. I've never heard that one before, Fabrizio. Coconut, I like coconut. I've never had co coconut on pizza before. I like bacon on pizza, that's good. Cinnamon on pizza, I've never tried cinnamon on pizza. That's like a holiday pizza. <laughs> cinnamon pizza would be a holiday pizza, yeah. Cinnamon and bacon pizza. Hmm, that's interesting. Huh. We should try it sometime. Yeah. Have you have you had that before, Fabrizio? Or are you just joking around? Is that just joking around? 
Radu says, pepperoni on pizza is okay with me. Yeah, I like it. Seiru says, pineapple pizza is a little bit sweet, not sour. Um, Air Lady says, um, my cell phone is, ah, okay, but I cannot print. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, so Air Lady, so that's okay, I'm writing on the board, okay, so let's do it on the board, that's okay, Air Lady. Okay, so let's, oh, Helga, I didn't see, sorry, I'm just talking about pizza right now. <laughs> um, let me go, I don't, I didn't see. So, so Helga, please ask me your question one more time, okay, Helga? So, um, please ask me your question one more time. I, I wasn't looking at the chat. I was just talking about um, pizza. So, okay, let's do the questions, shall we? Let's do the questions. So, here we go. Let's look at question number one. So, please answer your question. Please answer the question, everyone, in the chat. Are you an only child? That is question number one. Are you an only child? Are you an only child? So please answer the question. I'm going to move this over here. And then now we're going to, I'll write the, the question here. Yeah. So the question is, are you an only child? So that's question number one. I'll start right here. Number one, are you an only child? <clears throat> okay, so that's number one. Michelle, okay, Ava, number one. Okay, let me look here. Lolly says, no, I'm not. Okay, um, give us, Lolly, give us more information. So, no, I'm not. Do you, um, Sewa says, no, I'm not. I have a sister. So, that's great. So, Lolly, let me know more about, okay, I see now at the bottom. You say, I have a little brother. Okay, good. So, Lolly says, I have a little brother. That means someone younger. So, so Lolly has a brother, and so he's younger. So, that would be Lolly's younger brother, or you could say little brother. Um, so her parents, Lolly's mother and father, have two children, right? So they have a daughter and a son. For example, Sewu, she, she has a sister. Maybe she's older, maybe she's younger. I'm not sure. Okay, so Helga says, yes, I am. I am an only child. Umesh, no, I'm not. Okay, so please tell us if you're if you're not an only child, what is how many brothers and sisters do you have? Radu says, um, no, I'm not an only child. Michelle, I love pizza, but I know tomato or cheese or chicken or meat. The pineapple is new to me. How would you rate? Out of ten, I would say. Yes, I would say pineapple would be a seven. I would rate pineapple on pizza would be a seven. Okay, Katie, no, I'm not. So give us some more information, please. Um, Irene says, no, I have an older sister and an older brother. So thank you, Irene. So that's great. Irene gave us more information, right? So Irene says, no, I have an older sister and an older brother. So Irene is the youngest. She is the youngest. Candy, no I'm not. Air Lady, no I'm not. Okay, give me more information. Ava, no I'm not. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow! So Ava has a large family. Marta, how you doing? Marta says, no I'm not the only child. I am not the only child, but I wish to be. <laughs> Just kidding. I have an older brother. Okay, so Marta wants to be spoiled, right? So maybe if there's only one child, maybe that child will get all the attention. Well, for sure, that one child would get all the attention. 
Fabricio. Yes, I am today. I had a sister, but oh, that's oh, Radu, terrible. 1996. So she died when she was young. Oh, that's very sad. Oh, oh, it makes me want to cry. That's very oh, that's terrible. Fab. I'm so sorry for that. Wow. When when someone is older and they die, yeah, that's okay because that's normal, right? You had a long life and that's, you know, that, that's normal. But when someone dies at a young age, that's terrible because um, that's not fair, right? That's not fair because um, we should all experience a long life, right? There's many experiences here in this, on this world, on earth. And so we want people to, you know, we want everyone to have you know, life experience, but when you die young, those people don't have the life experience, so it makes me very sad. Air Lady, I have seven brothers in Brazil. Whoa! Seven boys and one girl. <laughs> wow, your mother had a tough, your mother has it difficult. Seven boys, one girl. Wow, Air Lady, big family. Umesh, I have three sisters and a younger brother. Sylvia, no, I'm not. I have two brothers and one sister. Sewu says, I have a younger sister. Good, Sewu. Okay. Vilmar, when I was born, there were two already, then came three more. <laughs> That's, Vilmar has an interesting way to, to say that. So, um, Vilmar says, when I was born, there were two already. So, that means two older siblings. Then came three more. And so, that means then Vilmar has three younger siblings. So, that's very interesting, Vilmar. Um, I like the way you explain that. So, one more time. I'm going to, everyone look at Vilmar's uh, sentence, please. Vilmar says, when I was born, there were two already. Then came three more. That's almost like poetry, Vilmar. Very good. Our lady says, um, I have two brother doctors um, and a psychologist. Wow. So your parents did a good job, Our lady. You have a wonderful mother and a wonderful father for sure with all those kids and they came out to be um, successful. That's fantastic. Michelle says, I have daughters and sisters from my brother and sister, and the numbers range from six to 10, and two grandparents have come to life. Wow, so Michelle, that's, that's good, yeah. Okay, Malina, I, yes, I have two. Okay, now, Two children, no, it's not about you. I mean, it's not about your children, it's about your brothers and sisters, yeah? So, are you an only child? That means, do you have brothers and sisters? Okay. Yeah, Fabrizio, that, that's very hard. That was emotional for me. Kadeen, I have five sisters and six brothers. Wow. We have some big families here. Oh, very good, Lolly. Yes, yeah, so I have, I have um, two brothers. One is Jeff. The other is Bud. And I have a, a sister named Courtney. Yeah, thank you, Ava. Yes, Air Lady, you have a very big family. <laughs> a lot of boys, seven boys. All right, Radu, my grandma had six, or I'm sorry, Radu says, my grandma had five sisters and five brothers. Big families. All seven brothers are married. Okay, so Ava says, Mark, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. So. Siblings means brothers and sisters. 
And yes, I do. I have siblings. I have three siblings, Ava. I have three siblings, Ava. I have a sister and two brothers. One sister and two brothers. Okay, Fabricio. Okay, yeah. Okay, Jocko's here. Hello, Jocko. Jocko says, no, I'm not. I have one younger sister and two younger brothers. So Jocko is the eldest. Radu, Mark, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have three siblings, one sister and two brothers. Oh, Air Lady, two sisters. Seven brothers and two sisters. That is 10 kids? Your, wait, Air Lady, your mother and father had 10 kids? Wow. Um, no money. <laughs> oh boy, like I have, I have two kids and it's hard. 10 kids, boy, there's no, there's no money. Okay. That's very interesting. So what we are doing, we are learning about one another, right? So it says, let's learn about one another. So we are learning about each other. Rossi, do your brothers live in Japan too? No. So Rossi, good, interesting question. Um, so... My sister lived in Japan before I did. So that's how I came to Japan. So my sister told me about Japan. And so she was here in Japan for a couple of years. She came back to California and she told me, <coughs> she told me, hey, Mark, you should go to Japan. You would like it. And so I took her advice and I did. So um, I wouldn't have come to Japan unless my sister told me about it. So um, I'm here in Japan because of my sister, but um, my, my brothers do not live in Japan. Only I'm the only one living in Japan. But my sister, she did live in Japan before, a long time ago. Air Lady, um, yeah, so that's very hard job. So Air Lady says, yes, my mother and father did very good. So yeah, so that's, that's very, that is a, <laughs> there are a lot of kids and I know I'm a father and I know how difficult it is. Okay, well, let's go to the next question. Let's go question number two. And question number two is, were you born in winter? Actually, this is, <laughs> let's look at the, I think this is a good time to look at the poll because it has, it, it's this question. Question number two, were you born in the winter? So let's, let's look at the poll right now. And that's the top of the chat and 54 people voted. Thank you, everybody. Mwah. Okay, so um, were you born? And then so the four seasons. <laughs> The four seasons. So, were you born in the summer? Were you born in the fall? Were you born in the winter? Were you born in the spring? So, those are our four questions in the poll. And the answers are the number one choice, summer. So, most people were born in the summer. 38% of the people said they were born in the winter, or no, summer, sorry, in the summer. Two, were you born in the, okay, so the number, the, the second most popular and, or response was winter. Were you born in the winter? 26% said yes. Then number three was spring. Were you born in the spring? 21% said yes. And then were you born in the fall? And that was 16%. So that was the fewest. So the fewest people were born in the fall. The most amount were born in the summer. Then we had winter, spring, and fall. Okay, so 
that's interesting. It's always interesting to see people's responses. So our number two question was, were you born in the winter? Were you born in the winter? That's number two. And let's look at the chat. Lolly says, no, I was born in spring. Oh, Lean, thank you for coming by. Have a good day at work, Lean. Okay, Air Lady, good to know that every, your family, everybody's good. Everyone has good jobs. That's fantastic. Thank you, Umesh. Okay, let's look. Okay, number two. Uh, Airlay says, do you know the enterprise Petrobras? Petrobras. No, I don't, but um, it sounds like it's an oil company, Air Lady. I do not know. Radu, I was not born during winter. I was born during summer. Good, Radu. Air Lady, um, it is where my father retired. Okay, so your, your father passed away, and he worked at the oil company. Okay, good. Sewu, no, I was born, no, I was born in winter, so I always feel... Okay, wait, wait. Air Lady, why, or not Air Lady, Sewu, why did you say no? So were you born in winter? You say, yes, I was born in winter, so I always feel cold. <laughs> okay, good, your mother is still with us, Air Lady. Your mother is still with us. Okay, Tog says, no, I was born in autumn, Radu. Um, Radu says, Mark, were you born during summer? No, I was born in the spring. I was May, so I was born in May. So I was born in the spring. Kadeen, no, I was born in the fall. Okay, my mother lives here with my sister in Michigan. Okay, good, good, good. So the girls are together. That's good, Air Lady. The girls are together. Thank you, Lolly. Yes, yeah, so Lolly knows. Thank you. Mwah. Yes, spring. I'm a spring. I'm a spring child. <laughs> I'm a spring child. Lolly's a summer child. Sylvia, I was born in the spring. You are a spring child. Air Lady, I don't know. Fabricio, yes, I was born in winter and I arrived in the world crying because it's cold. You are a winter child, Fabricio. Malina, go Wildcats, how you doing? Yay, long time no see, Wildcats. Wildcats is a spring child. Jocko, I was born, yes, I was born in the winter, I couldn't party with my friends because it was New Year's Day on January 2nd on the lunar calendar. After marriage, I changed to the solar can calendar. So your birthday, Jocko, January 2nd. Jocko is a winter child. Okay, yeah, oil. Okay, yeah, so um, in Brazil, oil is big business, right? Air Lady, Brazil has a big petroleum um, state, yeah, or not petroleum state, but um, a, they have lots of natural resources in Brazil. Oh, Candy, Candy's a summer child. Okay, Air Lady. Well, what, what month were you born in? I will tell you. 
I can, I can tell you, Air Lady, what month were you born, Air Lady? And I will tell you the season. Oh, Ava is a file, fall child. Ava is a fall child. Okay. Okay, so Ava is a summer child. Or I mean, um, Air Lady is a summer child. Oh, thank you, Radu. Alberta, I want to go for sure. I want, I've never been to Canada, but I want to. Okay, let's go to our third. Oh, okay, Air Lady. So, October is fall. So, Air Lady, you are a fall child. October. Well, in Brazil, it's, that is interesting because um, Brazil is on the other side of the, con or the, the other side of the um, equator, right? So, for, for Brazil, the seasons are I'm not sure they are not. I think we keep the seasons the same. So October, I think, is always going to be fall. I'm not sure because if if the if the weather if the let's say I'm not sure. So what? So for example, in the northern hemisphere, October is fall, but in the southern hemisphere. Is October spring? I don't know. Please ask. Please, if you know, let me, if you know the answer, please say in the chat. So in the southern equator, would you say October is spring or fall? I'm curious to know. Okay. Manume, I was born in May. So I was born in the spring. Okay, Raphael says the seasons are inverted. Okay, so um, if you're in Brazil, October is spring. Okay, Rossi, thank you. That's interesting. Okay, that makes sense, right? Because um, spring follows winter, right? And so, um, okay, that makes sense. Yes, that makes sense. So, Air Lady, you are a spring child. Yes, yes. But now you live in Michigan. <laughs> So now it's opposite for you, right? So now October is um, fall. Okay, well, let's do our next question. And now number three, do you like spaghetti? Okay, so question number three, do you like spaghetti? Do you like spaghetti? Number three. Do you like spaghetti? Do you like spaghetti? Yeah, soon, soon it's going to be winter, right, Air Lady? Soon it will be winter. Okay, Helga says yes. I do. I like spaghetti, but I don't think this dish is outstanding. Okay, or Helga, you could say, but, okay, you could say, it's not my favorite. Or, right, so Helga, you would say maybe, um, yes, I like spaghetti, but it's not my favorite. Yes, I do, but it's not my favorite. Sewu, okay, let's see. Um, Umesh says, yes, I do. Lolly says, yes, I do. I love spaghetti. I, I understand sp that Lolly likes, she loves spaghetti because she loves Italy. Lolly loves Italy. So naturally, Lolly loves spaghetti. <laughs> Rossi, I'm a winter child. I love this winter. <laughs> Radu. Yes, I like spaghetti. I'm going to steal some spaghetti from Mark's house. Go ahead. I'll give you the spaghetti. Actually, 
Radu, my wife makes excellent spaghetti. My wife makes excellent spaghetti. Air Lady says, yes, I love spaghetti. I ate it today with seafood. I personally, I like um, meat spaghetti. I like tomato and um, ground beef spaghetti. So, yes, Ava. Yes, I do. Ava loves spaghetti. She likes making spaghetti, too. Michelle says, yes, I love it. I specifically, specifically, um, wait, wait, wait. Specifically, how to chicken and cola. How to specifically, how to cook chicken and cola. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds strange. Chicken, cola, spaghetti. No, thank you. No, thank you. Air Lady says, I make it in my house with meat sauce. Yep. So I like, I like meat sauce spaghetti. Yes, Lolly loves. I knew it, Lolly. Mwah. I knew it. Fabricio, yes, I really do. I like spaghetti, um, penne, ravioli, uh, laguine, ritagotne, cannelloni. Okay, Raja says, yes, I do. I like it with cheese. Yeah, me too. Parmesan cheese, right? <clears throat> Parmesan cheese. Kadeen, when it's winter, northern hemisphere, it's summer in the summer in the southern hemisphere. Okay, yeah, so it, it inverts, right, Kadeen. So, so in the northern hemisphere, winter, it's now winter. In the southern hemisphere, it is summer. Radu, um, in Japan, lockdown now because of, no lockdown, Radu. We never had lockdown, never. We, we never had a lockdown. And actually, here in Japan, we're like doing really good. Uh, we have a lot of people vaccinated now, and cases are like, in my city where I live, zero. So where I live, there is zero. No one's in the hospital because of COVID. So zero cases right now where I live. So we're doing really good in Japan right now. Marta, I love pesto. Oh, I do too. I like pesto. That's um, basil. Yeah, pesto is made with basil, pine nuts, garlic, and Parmesan cheese. Yeah, that's excellent. Excellent, Marta. Vilmar, um... Okay, Petrobras. Petrobras. Uh, okay. Let's see, Lolly. Um, please, can I have some spaghetti from your wife? Sure. Let's 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 make an exchange, Lolly. I will send you my wife's spaghetti, and you send me your meat pie. Okay. So let's make a swap. Okay, Lolly, let's make an exchange. You send me your onion pie, and I will send you my wife's meat sauce spaghetti. Air Lady, you are too kind. <laughs> too kind. Yes, Lolly is now hungry. We're all getting, when we talk about food, we get hungry, right? When we talk about food, we get hungry. Uh, yeah, me too, Tog, with meat sauce. Yes, Lolly, Italy is your second home. So, Lolly, Italy will always be part of you, right? Italy will always, always be part of you. Okay, Rossi, thank you so much. Take it easy. You too. Have a great weekend, Rossi. Thank you. Radu, I'm glad that there are zero cases in your town. Thank you, Radu. Appreciate it, buddy. Cheers. Okay, let's go to our... Yeah, Lolly says, let's make the exchange. Sounds good. Jocko, um, yes, I do remember the first pizza and spaghetti I ate in Japan. Oh, Jocko, in Japan. Okay. 
Um, yeah, so we have good Italian food in Japan, right, Jaco? It's good stuff. Right, so Jaco, you are now in, you now live in Thailand, right, Jaco? You are now in Thailand. So you travel all over Asia, don't you, Jaco? Okay, oh, Candy likes meat spaghetti. Oh, thank you, Air Lady. You are very kind to me. You are always very kind to me. Mwah. Oh, meatballs with pasta. Actually, Fabrizio, I love meatball sandwiches. Oh, a good meatball sandwich. I love it. I love it. Yep, Katie, uh, spaghetti with meatballs. Very good. You don't, in Japan, we don't have um, spaghetti with meatballs in Japan. I miss it. I love, I love that too. Yeah. Okay, let's go to question number four. Can you swim? So we're learning all about each other right now. Can you swim? Can you swim? Can you do that? Are you able to do that? Can you swim? Everyone, can you swim? This is number four, question number four. Can you swim? Can you swim? Question number four. Thank you, Air Lady. Helga says, yes, I can. My father taught me how to swim in the sea when I was a little child. During my school years, I went with my friends to the pool the coach taught us there. Yeah, so here we're learning a lot about each other. This is great. So these questions, I can, and what you're doing is you're giving me more information, right? So I'm, I'm learning more about you, right? So Helga gave us a, like the easy reply, oh, yes, I can. But Helga is telling us more about her story about swimming. So it, it, we're learning even more about each other. So... That's fantastic. Radu, meatball sandwich. What kind of monstrosity is that? No, Radu, you don't understand what a real meatball sandwich tastes like. It is very, very good. It is really, really good. Hey, Fabrizio, you don't know either? Oh, boy. It, it's made like with a kind of like a French bread and then the, the tomato sauce, like on a pizza, like the tomato sauce with the, the meatballs, usually like a couple of meatballs, maybe they're sliced with, with some, some Parmesan cheese on top, like melted Parmesan cheese with more tomato sauce. It's to die for. A good meatball sandwich is to die for. <laughs> Radu says, I could swim like Michael Phelps. Wow. <laughs> Michael Phelps, the, 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 the best swimmer of all time. <laughs> Air Lady, Mark, I don't know how, but Norman can print your worksheet. Um, not so good, but that. Okay, good. Okay. Anytime. Anytime. It's, it's always going to be at the website, so you could print this out anytime, Air Lady. It's always going to be on the website so don't worry anytime and I will also take a picture I will what I will do too I will take a picture of the worksheet and put it on my Facebook group page so there you can see it um, in my um, work or on my um, Facebook group page Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice so there you I'll put it there too so the the worksheet will be on my YouTube channel homepage and in my uh, Facebook group page too. So either way, you can get it very easily. Ah, oh, Sebu says, yes, I can. It's my favorite sport. Ah, oh, so Air Lady, she can, but she doesn't like swimming. Uma says, yes, I can. Oh, 
Malina was also born January 2nd, so Michelle and Malina are both January 2nd birthdays. You see, Lolly, yes, I can. I go to the pool twice a week. Okay, we're learning a lot about each other. Jocko, yes, I do. I learned swimming about a year. I Wait, I learned swimming for about a year. Okay, so Jocko is taking swimming classes for a year. Ava, I can swim, but it's not my favorite sport. Swimming is great exercise. It is fantastic exercise. Okay, Raphael says, my late father even tried to teach me how to swim in the sea. Um, having that, I was born in the coastal city, but I still can't at 40. I'm afraid of water. Oh no, Raphael. Actually, I was also born close to the beach and I can surf. So I'm a very good swimmer. I can surf. Um, yeah, I enjoy the water. I enjoy pools. I enjoy the ocean. I enjoy lakes. I enjoy rivers. I enjoy, I enjoy water. Okay, yeah, Air Lady, anytime. Don't worry, Air Lady, anytime you can get that print. Or I should say, this worksheet. Okay, Fabricio, no, I can't. I was born in the seaside town and lived near the beach. But anyway, I never learned how to swim. Wow, so we're learning a lot about each other. So we have swimmers and we have non-swimmers. Okay, good. Okay, let's go to question number five. Are you hungry? <laughs> of course. Talking about pizza and, and spaghetti and meatball sandwiches. I think we're hungry. Are you hungry? I think we are. Yes. Are you hungry? I, I would say yes, I am. Or all of us, yes, we are, right? So if we include ourselves, right, we're, we're all together here, and maybe we are hungry. Wow, Zai, we have a lot of January birthdays. We have a lot of January birthdays here. Whoa, 10,000 years of love. Wow. Says, I do not know how to swim. So like I said, we have swimmers and non-swimmers. Right, do I learned to swim when I was about six years old. A swimming instructor threw me in like a rock into the swimming pool and I, and I was close to drowning. Actually, that's how I learned to swim, Radu. My father threw me in the pool when I was a baby. And I learned to swim by sink or swim. <laughs> you have two choices, right? When you're a baby, your, your, your parent, your mother or father throws you in the pool. You have two choices, either swim or sink. <laughs> and I, I swam. <laughs> okay, Candy can swim. She loves the sea. Candy loves the sea. Radu says, yes, I am hungry. So five, are you hungry? Right here. And Radu says, yes, I'm hungry. I will try a meatball sandwich and become disappointed because of it. No. Well, Radu, you have to go to a, a good Italian restaurant. I don't want you to have a bad experience, right? So I want you to go to a good Italian restaurant and order a meatball sandwich. Then you will not be disappointed. Oh, Air Lady says, I walk, I, I walk to, I walk to the beach. Let's see, Air Lady. I walked, I want to go to the beach from my house in Brazil. Oh, okay, I could, okay, Air Lady, I could walk to the beach from my house in Brazil. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, Air Lady, here we go. One more time. I could walk to the beach from my house in Brazil. So that's past. I could. Oh, Michelle says, I ate three hours ago and I don't feel hungry. Same, same me. Same, same with me. I ate, let's see, it's 11 o'clock. 
I think I ate about seven this morning. So that's three hours. Yeah, me too. Or four hours. I ate four hours ago. But I'm, I, had, I had oatmeal, and so oatmeal keeps you full for a long time. So I'm not hungry. Fabrizio says, yes, I am. <clears throat> After talking about pasta and meatballs, it's obvious I'm hungry. My stomach is making weird noises. It's growling. We say growling. So, oh, my stomach is growling. Like, like a tiger or a lion. So my stomach is growling. We say that. When you're hungry and your stomach is making noises, we say, my stomach is growling. Ava, I learned to swim at school. Good, good. Yeah. I think most people learn to swim at school. That's what they, in Japan, uh, people learn to swim in school or kids learn to swim in school. Oh, Candy, I'll make a meatball. Uh, I'll make meat spaghetti for lunch today. All right. So we're learning about each other and we're helping each other. Yeah. And we're getting ideas of what to eat and what to cook. Yes, yes. So I think perhaps we're, we're talking about spaghetti. We're talking about pizza. We're talking about meatball sandwiches. So perhaps you're thinking, hmm, maybe I'll have a pizza for lunch. Hmm, maybe I'll make spaghetti, right? So that's fun. That's good. Oh, Lolly says, my stomach is growling. I can eat a horse. Yes, Lolly. Very good. Everyone look at Lolly's sentence, please. So this is very natural English. My stomach is growling. I can eat a horse. Yes. Very good, Lolly. That a lot of people can learn from that. Um, oh, Radu, um, did you see any sharks in the water in California? Um, I've seen sand sharks. They're small sharks and they we call them sand sharks and they're they're fine they don't they don't hurt people they don't bite people so i've seen small sand sharks many times i've never seen a large shark but there they are there because other people have taken videos i personally have never but i've seen lots of dolphins in the sea when i'm surfing when i've surfed I've seen lots of otters in the sea when I was surfing. So I've seen other sea creatures in the ocean, but not, not a big shark. I've seen small sand sharks, and they're, they're fine. They, they don't hurt anyone. Ah, see, Air Lady, I will make spaghetti meat sauce for dinner. Yep, so we're getting good ideas. You're very welcome, Lolly. Thank you for doing that. And, other people can learn from you. So thank you, Lolly. Uh, go well, cats. <laughs> no. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm looking at the clock. We're like running over time. On Saturdays, I'm here for one hour. So um, we're running a little bit over time. Okay, number six. Do you come from a big city? Okay, this is an, another good question that we can learn from each. We can learn a lot about each other with this question. Do you come from a big city? Number six. Do you come from a big city? Okay, so I think this is a question we could learn a lot from each other. Do you come from a big city? I'm curious to know. I want to know. One more time. Do you come from a big city? Do you come from a big city? Okay, here we go. Okay, Radu. Okay, let's see. Umesh, no, I don't. Manome, I want to learn a new dish. Okay. All right, Lolly. Let's see. Ah, uh, my stomach tells me it's empty. Yeah, so when that's right, Tog. When when your stomach is growling, it's telling you it's hungry or it's empty. That's right. Good one, Tog. 
One more time, Tog. When my stomach is growling, it's telling me it's empty. When my stomach is growling, it's telling me it's empty. Very good, very good. Yes, so Air Lady says um, her, her English, it, like writing is difficult for Air Lady. And I think, Air Lady, for many people, writing is very difficult. That's actually the most difficult. So, Air Lady, don't, don't, be, don't, don't, be, don't feel too sad because um, actually writing is probably the most difficult part, right? So, you, you know, reading, it's... Everything's there, so reading's usually for most people the easiest. And then, and then you have speaking, and then writing. Writing is is the most difficult. So don't 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 think that um, you're the only one, right? Many people, and actually academically, it's the most difficult. Okay, let's see, let's see, um, let's get back to. The question, we're, we're talking about, do you come from a big city? And I have to go back in the chat a little bit here. Um, go Wildcats. No, I don't. So Wildcats is not from a big city. 10,000 years of love. I come from Lima, Peru. It is the capital of Peru. So yeah, so 10,000 years of love comes from a big city, Manome. Um, yes, I come from a big city. Is that, yes, I do. Karen, yes, I do. So we have lots of people coming from big cities. Radu says, no, I do not come from a big city. The city where I come from is relatively small. It's about, it has about 150,000 um, inhab inhabitants. It's really cold here. Lolly says, no, I don't. I come from a little town. Candy, no, I don't. Let's see. So we're learning a lot about each other. Let's see. Uh, Ava, yes, I do. I live in the capital of city Prague. So Prague's a big city. Air Lady, I come from a very small city. It's hard for me to pronounce. Marcio. It's a coastal city. That's beautiful. Raphael, I was born and raised until 10 in a big city. And then I moved where I live now, a small town in the countryside. Nice, Raphael. Michelle says, there is no simple village, but it is developed in terms of television, water, electricity, da, da, da. So I think Michelle is not from a big city. Air Lady Mark, you can see my city on, okay, on tube, okay. Uh, Rajay, no, I come from a small city. Yep, Lolly, I come from a little town not far from uh, Grenoble. Okay, Helga, yes, I do. In Soviet times, it was a large industrial and resort city with a population of over 500,000 people. Okay, Jocko, I live Seoul, that's a big city. But now Hanoi always lived in big cities, so Jocko's always lived in big cities. Oh, you're welcome, Air Lady. Marta, yes, I come from Guadalajara, where it's about 87,000 people. Unfortunately, traffic jam is insane. Yep. That's the problem with big cities. Yeah, so, so Lolly lives in a, a small town near um, Grenoble. Fabrizio, can you speak my name of the city? Uh, I don't think so, Fabrizio. Cara, no, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I don't know. Radu, have you ever been to Mexico? Yes, I have many times. Um, actually, when I was junior high school, I did a homestay in Mexico City for a month. So, um, 
Yes, but so I, I, when I was a junior high school student, I did a homestay for one month in Mexico City, and then I've been to um, Baja, California, Tijuana, Baja, um, Jorado. So I've been, I've been to Mexico um, a few times, yeah, about five or six times. Okay, good, everybody. Okay, so Lolly asked me, how about you, Mark? Do you live in a big city in Japan? Um, yes. I mean, it's not Tokyo, right? Tokyo. So the big cities in Japan are Tokyo, uh, Osaka, mm, Nagoya. So like those are the, the three big cities. And then I kind of, I'm in a middle tier, which is still, it's a big city. There in, in um, my city, there are about 400,000 people. So it, it's a medium-sized city, but it's pretty big. Yeah, like 400,000 people. So it's a medium-sized city for Japan. Okay. All right. So let's go on to our next question, number seven. Number seven is, can you play the piano? Can you play the piano? Okay, you're going to roll your tongue. <laughs> right, so Spanish, you have to roll your, your R's, right? Like, yeah. Adi, or, um, buenos dias. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so Spanish, you have to roll your R's. Okay, um, number seven. Can you play the piano? Can you play the piano? Question number seven. Can you play the piano? Umesh, no, I can't. Me too. No, I can't. I can't play the piano. But my kids can. My kids can play the piano. Radu, no, I cannot play the piano. Unfortunately, I wish I could. Yeah, of course. Like, I wish I could play music, right? I think everybody would like to be able to play music, right? It's something that we enjoy listening to. And I think when we watch musicians, right, we watch people play music, we feel like, we feel like, oh, that's a great thing to be able to do. I wish I could do that, right? I think most people feel that way. Go Wild Cats, no, I can't. 10,000 years of love, no, I can't play the piano, but I would like to learn. Yeah, so I agree, 10,000 years of love. I, I think that we, we admire people who are, have music talent, right? They're like, oh, they have music talent, I wish I could. Kind of like art too, people who can paint and draw, they have artistic talent, we wish we could have that artistic talent. Um, singers, right? Beautiful singers. Ah, oh, they have a beautiful voice. They have musical talent. They have singing talent. I wish I had that, right? I think most of us feel that way. Okay, um, Air Lady. Oh, thank you. Welcome to Michigan, says Air Lady. Karen says, no, or yes, I can play the pian piano. I love it, nice. Lolly says, no, I can't, but I can play the guitar a little bit. Nice, nice. Ava, yes, I can. Raphael, I tried to play the piano at 11 at the age of 12. I was able to play a few simple songs, but I gave up. And nowadays, I can play the guitar. Good, Raphael. I think, yeah, the guitar is more practical, right? You can, you can carry the guitar. You could take it places. It's not so expensive, right? Piano is very expensive, very big. You can't take it anywhere, right? It's, it's like furniture. So um, yeah, so a guitar is much more practical for sure. Air Lady, no, I can't. Sewu, yes, I can play the piano. It's my hobby. Nice.
American English with this guy. <laughs> I cannot play the piano, but I can play the drums. Oh, that's cool. And the drums would it, it, another difficult instrument because the drums, it's all like the, the rhythm of the music, right? So the drummer keeps the rhythm, keeps the beat, and then the drummer has like they're moving like the, the left, the left hand is doing this, the right hand is doing something else, the right foot is doing something, and the left foot is doing something. So all, like, how can I say this? Your whole, like, each of your, your hand and each of your foot are doing different things, right? So it's easy to just go, hello, right? It, this is easy. <laughs> but then, okay, then now your feet are going differently right and so th that drum playing drums is very very difficult so i i admire people who can play the drums for sure okay good 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 um uh, fabricio no i can't play the piano maybe i can play happy birthday song i can play there's um chopsticks right go right we call that chopsticks and so anyone can play the chopsticks Okay, good, good. Chaco says, uh, no, I can't. When I was a child, I went there for three months. So music, maybe piano lessons. So I can't. When I was a child, I took piano lessons for a few months, but my piano teacher moved in, so I couldn't learn it. But my piano teacher moved. Oh, moved away. Okay, Chaco, I think I know what you're saying. Jocko, you're saying um, when you're a child, you took piano lessons for three months, but your piano teacher moved away. Uh, Lolly says, I can't sing. I sing out of tune. Same with me. Me too. Me too. Okay. Let's see. Radu, it's like your limbs have different brains when you are playing. Exactly, Radu. So that's Drums is just using all your limbs, your, your hands and your feet, and they're, all, they're moving at different times. And so that, to me, is impossible. It's impossible for me. Oh, so Air Lady, she has a musical family. That's fantastic, Air Lady. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's, I'm looking at the clock. Oh, we're over time, but let, let's finish some of these questions here. Okay, number eight. This is an interesting question. Were you a problem for your mother? <laughs> number eight. Were you a problem for your mother? Were you? A problem for your mother? <clears throat> Were you a problem for your mother? Were you a problem for your mother? So, Air Lady, I have two brother doctors and so far two nephews and a niece. Wow! Very smart family, Air Lady. Radu, are piano lessons expensive in Japan? Uh, so, my, my kids stopped, the, um, they stopped their piano lessons. But I'm thinking for each, well, I think it was about for the for both about seventy dollars a month so it's pretty expensive so there are so for both girls two girls about seventy dollars a month for piano lessons that's once a week so yeah in Japan everything's expensive in Japan everything's expensive those kinds of things restaurants aren't so expensive but English lessons are expensive Piano lessons are expensive. Swimming lessons are expensive.
Okay, here we go. Number eight. Were you a problem for your mother? So for, were you trouble? Were you a troublemaker? Was your mother angry with you? Did you cause your mother problems? Were you, did you give your mother a headache? <laughs> was your mother pulling her hair? Was your mother pulling her hair out? Was she going, oh, I can't believe my daughter or my son. My, my shirt is coming undone. My shirt is coming undone right here. The threads are coming out. Okay, let me go back. Here we go. Helga says, no, I wasn't. Okay, so were you? So, yes, I was. Oh, you can't see. Let me, let me move this over. So here, were you? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Question, were you? Were you? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay. Let's see. I'm looking at the chat now. Let me go up a little bit. I missed a lot. Okay, number eight. Okay, so Helga, no, I wasn't. Ava, no, I wasn't any problem with my mother or actually um Ava no I wasn't I or I wasn't a problem for my mother I wasn't a problem for my mother Umesh no I wasn't okay no I wasn't a problem for my mother no I wasn't a problem for my mother American English guy says no no I wasn't I was not a problem for my mother I was a perfect child. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I don't think anybody, I think maybe in your memory, you're a perfect child, but maybe your mother's memory is different. <laughs> uh, Air Lady, yes, I was, yes. Or, yes, I was, I had a strong personality. Okay, so, so Air Lady was, a problem for her mother because she had a strong personality. I understand. I have a daughter who has a strong personality. Yeah, so I understand. Lolly says, let me see, did I see? Let me go. Back. Okay, Lolly says, yes, I was. I was a bad child. Oh, I can't believe that, Lolly. I can't believe it. Really? Ha, uh -huh. let's see. Okay, Fabrizio. No, I wasn't. My mother is proud of the son she has. He's like an angel. Really? So, Fabrizio, were you an angel? Were you a little angel when you were a boy? Lolly says, yes, I was. I didn't want to clean my bedroom. Ah, that's, that's normal, Lolly. That's, I think you were, I think, Lolly, you were a fine child. All kids don't want to clean the rooms. Good kids, bad kids, all kids don't want to clean the rooms. Sewa says, yes, my mom insisted on commuting time. For me, it's hard. Commuting time. You mean like going to school and back? So, for example, Sewa your mother had to take you many places, and so it was difficult for your mother. Your mother's very busy. I think that's a lot. I think that's the case for most mothers. Mothers are, are very busy taking their kids places, taking them to lessons, taking them to um, friends' houses, taking them to the doctors, right? Taking them, you know, picking them up from school when they're sick. So yeah, so a mother's job is very difficult for sure. Okay, let's see, Ava. Oh, I was a very good kid. 10,000 years of love. No, I wasn't. No, I'm actually a very calm girl and today is my birthday. Happy birthday. Mwah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear 10,000 years of love. Happy birthday to you, yeah. 
Congratulations. Happy birthday. Congratulations. 10,000 years of love. That's a lot of love. <laughs> Lolly, yes, I was. I didn't want to go to school. Oh, that's a problem, Lolly. Yes, that is a problem. You must go to school. Uh, also, Lolly also had a bad temper. Oh, no. Let's see. Ah, uh, Air Lady, sometimes I was a very good teenager. I'm a very good person. Oh, I know, Air Lady, I know. Jocko says, no, I wasn't a problem for my mother. I'm doing well with my mom. Nice. Good, Jocko. Oh, okay, Air Lady, Montessori school, that's good. Okay, so Air Lady, you're going to be a teacher. Air Lady, a calm person and happy. Yeah, happy and calm. That's good, Air Lady. Yeah, everyone's, this is great. So we have kind people. People are wishing 10,000 years of love. Happy birthday. That's fantastic. We are all here together. Very kind to each other. Fantastic. Oh, Karen. Okay, that's my mother's name. So, 10,000 years of love, we have the, that's my mother's name. So, your name and my mother's name is the same. So, welcome, Karen. Okay. Okay, let's, let's continue. Oh, boy, we, okay. There's 10 questions. Let's see if we can, let, let's, let's get the, let's do them. Let's do it. Okay, number nine, do you have a dog? Number nine, question number nine, do you have a dog? 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 Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, Air Lady. Interesting. Oh, Candy. Difficult. Her mom said, put away the toys. Put away your toys. But Candy didn't want to do that. All right, Martha. Thank you. Martha is wishing Karen a happy birthday. Thank you, Karen. Or, thank you, Martha. Okay, good, Air Lady. Oh, I love my mom the most in the world. Oh, Sewu, you're a great daughter. Radu says, Brent. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, Helga, no, I don't. I have a cat. Me too. Karen says, my dog is sitting <laughs> in my lap right now. He's very sleepy too. Okay, good. Oh, that no, that oh, that's American English guy. Okay, that's not Karen. Sorry, sorry. You both have long, <laughs> both have long um, avatar names or uh, online names. Lolly says, "No, I don't. I have a cat named Diamond." Yes. Uh, Rajay says, "No, I don't have a dog." Ramen, no, I don't. Radu, no, I don't have a dog. I wish I had one. I could have beer, th though, because I see them quite often here in Canada. Oh, bear, bear, not beer. Bear, I see. I could have a bear. <laughs> Many bears in Canada, for sure. Question number nine, Michelle. I own two types of hawks. Whoa, um, fast but weak and fearful, which can be killed by an eagle, medium in speed. Okay, wow. So Michelle has hawks, birds of prey. Air lady, no, I don't. Sewu, I, no, I don't. I'm very busy. Yes, actually, Sewu, that's fantastic because 
I understand. A dog takes lots of time. And that's me too. I have a cat. Our family has a cat because we're busy too. And with a dog, you need to um, give time to the dog. And so, so if you're very busy and you're not home a lot, it's not good to have a dog. So that's great, Sewu. So if you don't have the time, don't have a dog. Lolly, Peanut is doing very well, thank you. Miss Peanut is very happy. Miss Peanut has a good life. Miss Peanut just lies around the house and she has a good life. Thank you, Lolly. Air Lady says, I have a poodle in Brazil, but here I don't have any. So, so Air Lady has a poodle in Brazil, but where she lives in Michigan, she doesn't. Fabricio says, no, I don't have a dog, but my neighbors have a pretty dog. Its name is Joe, like the character of my friend's series. series. Okay. Oh, Candy says, yes, I have a dog. He is 11 years old. Michelle says, I don't own dogs, but I do own um, hawks, right? So Michelle says, hawks are better than a dog. Jocko, yes, I do. I have been living, to, we have been living together for 11 years. She is snoring and sleeping. Good. So Jocko, we have been living together. Okay, good. <laughs> You're very welcome, Air Lady. No problem. Mwah. Umesh, no, I don't. Okay, let's do our last question. Okay, here we go. Number 10, and then we have done all the questions. Okay, number 10. Question number 10 is, do you get up early? 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 So I get up at 6, so I get up pretty early. Do you get up early? I know a lot of you do. A lot of you do get up early, I'm sure. Um, number 10, Helga says, I don't get up early. I don't sleep. It's 4.30. So, so Helga doesn't even go to bed. So if you don't go to bed, then you don't get up, right? So do you get up early? Do you get up early? So Helga says, I don't sleep, so I don't get up. <laughs> Radu, oh, okay, let's see. Ava, no, okay, Ava doesn't have a dog, but my son has two dogs. Lucy has two dogs, and the second daughter has a cat. Wow, so Ava has children with pets, yes. Okay, Severa says, yes, I get up at six, same Severa, me too, 6 o'clock. Go Wildcats, yes, I... Oh, number 10, do you get up early? So you would say, yes, I do. So the do question, let me turn this off. So here we go, do you? And so we have, yes, I do, no, I don't. Okay. Wally says, no, I don't. I work at night. So Lolly is a night owl. Air, Air Lady says, yes, I do. Manome, yes, I get up at six and do yoga. All right, Manome. Oh, American English guy, I get up at five every morning for school. Oh boy, five, that's early. Fabricio, yes, I do. Every, uh, every day I have to get up at 4 a.m. and do the radio station. I'm an early bird. 4 a.m. Whoa, okay, that is super early. That's not just early, that is super early. Marta, no, I don't. I'm lazy. I wake up around 7:30. Whoa, that is late. 7:30. Air lady, I have. I have a problem to get up early. Oh, I don't have any problems to get up early. So Air Lady says, I have no problems getting up early. I have no problems 
getting up early. Arab says, yes, I get up at 7. I don't know if that's early. 7, I, uh, I, I don't think that's early. 7, I don't think so. Katie says, I don't wake up early because I'm going to sleep late, too late. So Katie is a, 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 a night owl. She goes to bed late, so she wakes up late. Frida says, yes, I do. I get up at 5. That's early, 5. Vilmar, I wish, okay, here we go. I didn't see. Vilmar, I wish I didn't need sleep because our lives are so, same. I, I feel same, me too, Vilmar. I wish, this, I, I think the same as you do. Every day I wake up at 7, says Air Lady. Uh, Michelle, now no, because I don't have a job. The reason is a recent graduate and I apply if I find a job after that, my time will be shorter. For sure, Michelle. Say, well, yes, I get up early, six, and work for an, for an hour, work out for an hour. I decide to change my lifestyle. Good. So, Sebu gets up early to um, work out and um, exercise, right? Oh, walk. Okay. Okay. Yeah, same thing. So, so Sebu now, she gets up earlier so she has time for a walk. And that, that's great, Sebu. Mwah, that's great. Let's see. Right. Okay, let's see. Um, you're welcome, Mano May. Let's see, I'm looking at the chat. Michelle, I sleep at seven in the, and get up at three in the afternoon. Wow. <laughs> Michelle goes to bed at seven and wakes up at three in the afternoon. So that's kind of like a, a night job, right? Or we say um, the grave shift, graveyard shift. Okay, so Air Lady's working part time. Lolly says, yes, I am a night owl. I get up at noon. Jocko says, yes, I do. I get up at 6.15. Uh, my husband is going to work at 6.40. Okay, so, so Jocko's a good wife. She gets up early, um, gets her husband's breakfast made. Jocko, very, very good, Jocko. You're a good wife. Uh, Radu, the best way to wake up is to have... 20 phone alarm set up. Well, guess what, everybody? I get up at 6 with no alarm clock. I don't use an alarm clock. I haven't used an alarm clock for, for years now. So I now, I don't use an alarm clock. However, my bedroom window is always open, like no curtains. So the sun comes into my room and I wake up. Winter, it's, it's a little difficult, right? So summer, no problem because the sun comes into my room and it's easy for me to get up at six. But in winter, it's still dark. And so, um, however, my body is used to getting up at six. So I still get up, but maybe sometimes I'm a little late. You know, maybe it's like 6.15, but most of the time, I get up at 6 naturally. I don't need an alarm clock. I, I, I don't like that sound. Bing, bing, bing. I hate the alarm sound. So I, I taught myself. I, I taught my body to wake up without the alarm clock. So you can do it too. It's pra it takes practice, but you can, you can get rid of the alarm clock. You don't need an alarm clock. If you get your body adjusted to waking up at the same time every day, you don't need an alarm clock. Ava, yes, I wake up at 5.30 every morning. Yes, that's early. Karen, yes, I get up at 5.30 a.m. Yes, that's early. 6 o'clock is good for me. 5.30 would be I, I, too difficult. <laughs> it's weird, right? You think only 30 minutes, right? 5.30 and 6, right? But 6, I always get up at 6, right, naturally. But 5.30 would, I, I never get up at 5.30. <laughs> no, 
That's right, Lolly, no alarm clock for me. I, I don't even have a clock by my bed. Good air lady exercises every day. Okay. American English guy, Mark, do you ever accidentally oversleep? Not, not really. No. Not, not really. I mean, like sometimes, you know, I'll wake up at 6.15, but, but I'm usually like, I know. Like what, what happens is I'll wake up at six, and then if I, 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 and then if I'm still a little tired, I might sleep a little bit longer. But um, yeah, no, I'm always like six o'clock. My eyes are open at six, but I might go. Uh, give me, I'll go. Okay, ten more minutes sometimes, but but rarely. Most of the time, up at six. Six eyes open. Okay, get up. But you, you really, it, it's true. You guys can do it without the alarm clock. You can do it. Yeah, say, well, you just have to. Um, so what you do is get up at the same time every day and um, go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time, and you can get rid of the alarm clock. So the important thing, um, say, well, is to um, go to bed at the same time. So go to bed at the same time, and then you can wake up at the same time, and you don't need the alarm clock. Okay. Okay, Raphael. Okay, everyone. Okay, thanks, everyone. Air Lady says, sometimes I have to go, sometimes I go for a walk outside in the summer. Yeah, I, I love walking. I do that. I try. In the winter, the, the, it gets dark so early. It's hard for, sometimes. Lately, I haven't been doing my walking as much because it's, it gets dark so early now. Okay. Well, good job, everyone. We did it. We did this worksheet. We learned a lot about one another, didn't we? Right? We learned a lot about one another. We, we practice this pattern right here. Are you, question, pattern. Do you, question, pattern. Can you, question, pattern. Were you, question, pattern. So this is talking about your past, right? What, your past. Were you a problem child? Were you born in the winter, right? So this is about your past, and this is now. Are you, right, are you hungry? Do you like pizza, right? Can you swim? So this is now, and this is in the past, okay? And, and we did these 10 questions, and we learned a lot about each other. So we're here every week, we know, but we learned even more about each other, so that's fantastic. And I have to go, everyone. So thank you so much, Seiru. Thank you, always. Green team. I'm going to make this small now. Okay, green team. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. The green team, yeah, they support me. They support the channel. And um, I love the green team. <laughs> I love you. So um, thank you so much. Please, if you wanted to join the green team, help me so I can help you. Yeah, support me so I can support you. Please join the green team and get your name in green. Yes, thank you so much. Um, well, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'm, I, I'm way over time. Oh. Anyways, I will be back on Tuesday, November 23rd. Time, November's almost done now. I can't believe the time, it's just crazy. So anyways, um, thank you Fabricio, thank you. I'm sorry, Air Lady, I am way over time. I have, I'm, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Okay, um, Lolly, thank you. Air Lady, thank you. Mwah, Fabricio. Um, Candy, thank you. Everyone, Jocko, thank you. Um, who else? I always forget people. Umesh, thank you. 
Oh, everybody, thank you so much. Um, have a great week, Jocko. Yes, thank you so much, Jocko. Mwah. Love you, Jocko. Um, well, have a great weekend. Smile. Remember, when you smile, you have to be happy. And when you smile, you make other people happy. Yeah, Radu, time flies for sure. Thank you. Um, anyways, I, I have to go, Air Lady. I'm sorry. Mwah. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. Okay, here we go. Let's count down to saying goodbye. Five, four, three. Oh, the poll. I did the poll, Manome. Manome, we, we did it. So please go back and have a look. Okay? Okay. Thanks so much. Bye.